Sometimes we slept outside and it would be like, oh my God, I wish I had a bed to sleep in. I had an image of what it would look like with me being in the streets, begging for change. I had nowhere to go. Um, my mom didn't care. She said that the day I turned 18, I actually had to be out. Hey, we were sitting in an apartment, abandoned apartment complex, and we just decided to look up stuff to go, and we just saw the Covenant House. So. When I first walked up to the building, I thought it was going to be just like a regular shelter home, you know? But when I actually walked in, it was like so colorful, like, oh my God, it was like heaven. As long as they're between 16 and 21, that's the only question they're asking. And then the next question is, what do you need? Are you tired? Are you hungry? Um, what can I do to help you? There are always people in need, you know? And if we shut down, then we're, we're shutting people out. So that's why we have to keep those doors open. Their main issue is they're homeless. They may want to eat before we even fill out the paperwork. You know, they may need clothing. It's whatever they need at that time is what we kind of try to provide them with. The greatest thing we give them is hope, making them believe that they can do something different. You can go back to school. You can make it. You can, you can be everything that you were, you know, born to be. But just try to encourage them to look past their circumstances and begin to look up. You know, really, everybody wants equity. Everybody wants to know they're valued. And that first day of class is where I really begin a basis of building a relationship with the students. And um, I take it really, really seriously. It's just nice to be heard, you know, to know you're, you're somebody and that you have a voice. I mean, I know countless people that came here and their life has changed, like really. Like, um, the staff here is just so awesome. I mean, they really encourage. Like, I would sit here and get emotional if I <laughs> sit here and talk about the staff and how much they really care. Uh, you know, to have a student have the confidence to go forth and to a job interview by themselves, that's power, that's huge. Putting all those pieces together through education, employment, or career paths, those two components are extremely important here, but also your um, mental well-being. You know, happiness means a lot in this world and to encourage them to really dive into what that means. You know, how can I bring happiness to my life and how can I be a happy and um, productive and content person in this world? Homelessness and shame, because you know you can do better, you know you're somebody, and yet you've been locked into this horrible, stereotypical thing. It's, it's brutal. And the only thing that can break that out is your affirmation that you are somebody, that you've been created with a destiny and a purpose. God doesn't make junk, you're somebody. And when you can really get that communicated to someone deep inside, that's when you start seeing growth and just confidence to come up out of that. It takes a minute though, that's not something that happens overnight.